Francis, can you just stop talking? Can you please just stop talking? I know that you've got to give a pretty much press conference, but I would actually prefer if you just don't say anything because this guy just keeps talking. Or if you're going to talk, just talk purely about the game. Because what are you trying to prove by saying this? Because, guys, let's connect the dots. We're not stupid. So by you saying that you tried to push hard for Haaland and he wasn't sure about the appetite of the club, what are you doing? Don't take us for fools. You're now saying that the reason why Haaland did come to Chelsea was because of the higher-ups. And if Haaland had come into Chelsea, your stint at Chelsea would have been a lot better and we wouldn't treat you as the bomb of a coach you truly are. Come on, Lampard, come on, bro. Because my thing is, is there's so many different aspects. The first aspect is this. Many guys wanted Haaland. From the Red Bull Salzburg thing, everybody wants to handle because, bro, we all remember when he was saying what's about Salzburg and he's got all those goals. Guys are like, oh, no, no, this guy is a serious talent. So you were not the only guys going in from him. And also, correct me if I'm wrong, did you want him during the transfer ban? I think that was also during the transfer ban. So that's one thing that, there where you were not the only guys going in for him. Second thing is this. Let's say that you were. And let's say that you get Haaland. How do we know? knowing your horrendous track record as a coach, that Haaland comes and he's a player that he is now. Because we know that Dortmund know how to develop players. They're a great orphanage. So we know how they developed all these players, whether it's Lewandowski, whether it's Gundogan, whether it's Hummels, Sancho, Haaland. So I don't trust your coaching that Haaland comes to Chelsea and he's a striker that he is. So again, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is all cap. This is all cap that, 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 that Lampard is saying. And see, my thing is, is that the sooner this guy leaves, the better. The sooner this guy leaves, the better because he just keeps talking and talking and talking and talking and talking, man. It's like, what? I mean, because your record is horrible. There is nothing you can say that can make us view your coaching record that is horrible. We all know that as a manager, you just ain't it. Amazing player. You're a, you're a great player. Allegedly, Paul, because we have to look at your career. Paul, good. Scored all those goals, redefined the goal scoring as a midfielder. But there is nothing you can say, nothing you can do that can change the fact that you are one of the worst managers in Premier League history. You simply are. And my thing is that I just want this nightmare of a season to be over. I have still to this day, to this day, I have no idea how you're even back in coaching and management. I don't know how you were back as Chelsea manager. So, it boggles the mind that you hear. And then, but all I ask from you is don't get pimped. Don't get strip searched on, on Sunday. Do not get chemically re-engineered on Sunday, please. Because we saw what City did to Real Madrid. And we know that Real Madrid had a higher XG while you while they were 2-0 up against you. So Lord only knows that if we do the math, Lord only knows what City could do. So I just pray that keep it respectable. Keep the loss respectable because I'm putting any money you need to get a result. So just keep it respectable because I don't want Chelsea to be embarrassed yet again by Man City. And once this season is done, I don't want you advising. I don't want you to of football. Chelsea fans, please, this is very important. We, we have to separate the, the two. He did amazing as a player. He was superb as a player. But in terms of talent ID, knowledge of the game, coaching, he's trash. He's horrible. So once Pochettino comes, Lampard, I don't, I don't even want you to be in an advisory role because there is nothing you can do to bring to help to improve Chelsea because it shows that you don't know what you're doing. So let this season end. And my advice of you is this. To retire. You're not a good manager. Never tried it out and he decided it wasn't for me. So I don't know what people put into this guy's head that he thinks that he's this great manager. Maybe go down to the challenge, but go down to Division 2 and try your hand at, at a Doncaster. Go to Scunthorpe. Go to freaking Doncaster Rovers. Go to these dudes analysts. Learn the very basics. But you can't cut it at this level. Okay? And please, I say again, stop talking. We, we will not change the narrative that you're a horrible manager. It ain't gonna change. I'm sorry. Your narrative ain't gonna change that you're a quality manager. Sorry. It's not changing. Please. All right. Head over there to the official website, the official website over there. I'll see you in another one. Peace.